Hey YouTube, it's your girl Javina Love, back with another video. Welcome back, welcome back. How are you doing, my busy bees? Staying busy, I hope. Mm-hmm, keeping a sexy child. I try to always, even when physical therapy gets canceled. Woo -woo -woo. But it's still a bad thing, because I feel like I need to be there, and it's canceled. Oh, but you're not here for that. You're here to see what I got from the Dollar Tree. Hey, I went on the hunt today. I had to do, <clears throat> not one. Not two, but three Dollar Tree runs, okay? And it isn't that I had to. Okay, we, we, let's, let, let's, T, recognize T, the truth, recognizing the truth. I didn't have to. I had to because I wanted to. <laughs> you ever had that? Give me one second. Yeah, I wanted to take my friends on Marco Polo shopping and show them what I can find, if I can find anything really, really good, and... I did find a couple of good things. I'm pretty shook, you know, so I had to share it with you too. I was like, and give you my opinion on something that I've been trying for a while. Now I'm getting ready to push on everybody else for a review because I'm like, hold up. We've been sleeping on this and it was $4 previous. Now it's at the Dollar Tree. Ain't time to sleep on it at the Dollar Tree, okay? So the first thing I got, she was, she's cracked, but it's okay because we've been working with resin, my son and I, and for a quarter, I had to pick it up. Look at that. Oh my goodness. It's got a couple little chips right here and right here, but I can literally swipe over the resin art, uh, the resin um, A and B, um, I don't know exactly what you call it, but you know, when you're working with resin art, you have an A and a B solution. If you equal parts, makes the slurry, works it out. So, makes it nice and, you know, smooth. Alright, let's roll on into something else. I found these cutest ice tray molds for my son to use res for resin. Little seashells. Now, our whole thing is we got to learn how to figure out. I know for what we have to do. I know what we have to do. we got to get a Dremel. We gotta drill a hole or some type of like, you know, thing, but we're trying to do it without having to purchase a Dremel. So I figured put a toothpick in there and probably have to stick it through to make like a keychain hole or a jewelry hole, you know, type of thing. But yeah, so I got one for him to do resin with. I thought that was really cool. Yeah. I was shook because see, this, this right here, I was shook that I found it at, at, at all. The whole store was empty for as far as the makeup aisle. There was no lashes. There was barely any brushes there. They had a lot of, you know, the mascaras and things like that. But, you know, when you find it and it's just sitting there, you, you start to think. Sometimes I think the employees be hiding stuff on purpose in plain sight. So you scan by and you're like, mm, it's gone. But then when you scan back again and a couple more times you find hidden gems. I found this wet and wild, sorry for the ring light, uh, purple eye, uh, highlighter called Royal Class, Clight? Royal Clight? C-A-L-Y-X? It looks so much like a, a Jeffree Star to me, and I'm like, I don't own any purple highlighters, and that's odd. So I thought, yeah, that's a good find. What is? Shall we stay in the makeup aisle? No, I'm going to jump out of the makeup aisle and go into skincare. You know, we've been doing our mask Mondays. So I found these, which I thought were really cool. I love clay masks. My seven-year-old bug does these nose strips and clay masks because ever since he was born, that child, you could see the pores on his nose. I was like, oh, you can see the pores on his nose. And he sees it now. And he's like, Mom, is it mask time? <laughs> so, uh, he wanted to do Mask Monday with the ladies. So I went and picked up one for everybody for when it's my turn to pick the mask. We all get to do a bug mask. You know, basically my, my sugar bug picked that mask. Let's go... 
into decal land. So something for the bug to also to do. And I went to I found these at two different Dollar Trees because they're in two different bags, so I can totally tell that. I love the Under the Sea Life. Who else doesn't love the Under the Sea? They had these DIY wind chimes, and I love wind chimes. This one's like shells, and it includes everything you need from three pre printed wooden pieces, five strings, one wooden bead, three acrylic paints, three aluminum tubes, and one paint brush. So I got him this one with the shell, this one with the steering wheel, and then because the 4th of July is coming, got to be all patriotic and stuff, got this one, I think it just says USA, this one says welcome with the big hat this one says oh beautiful and I think it's going to say because I'm trying to see underneath it beautiful America so pretty and then I got remote control batteries because I, as, as you guys know I've got the my little um, DVD player yeah, yes, and my mini DVD player I get in the bed with. I had to get a remote battery for that. Then, okay, next, I found something that I have got to try for review at the Dollar Tree. This is called Flesh Revlon Thick Foundation Shades. I was like, what? And they were all in caramel color shades. And they, I mean, they got real, real, real rich. Like, colors that I had never seen. They had about five, four or five different shades, but the darkest of dark. I was like, well, why haven't you been in the store, Revlon? I've never seen these in the store. Have you guys seen them in the store? I'm going to look them up to see if they even carry them still on Revlon's website. And how much were they before they ended up at the Dollar Tree? Okay. And if it's the same amount of, you know, product and the whole nine yards, I'll give you a whole 411 about it because I'm shook. You know, being a curl my color girl, I have the hardest time found finding foundations. The hardest. It took someone from across the oceans, my sweet Judy Barbara, Barbara's beauty bag, y'all know her, sent me on my hunt for the perfect foundation. She sent me this tent for that was sent to her by BoxyCharm. And child, it's my perfect tent. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, yeah, Boxy Charm, you're not doing your job. Back to the bag. Okay, so like I said, we have been doing a Mask Monday. I wanted, I did a video the other day. I don't think you guys have seen it yet. You probably won't see this one yet either until that one's out. But I found Wet n Wild. Cat suit liquid foundation, uh, liquid eyeshadows at the Dollar Tree, and I've been rocking them all week, almost for a week and a half. As and this is with the Wet and Wild palette on top of it. Now, cutting the crease worked beautifully with a different palette. There was a lot of transfer with this one because the glitter is a little. This is the SpongeBob palette. So there was a little bit more transfer, but it's still really beautiful. And I had it on since 8 o'clock this morning. It's almost, I want to say 12 hours with just this. So I had to go get some for all my ladies. So that's where you hear a bunch of them going, clink, 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 clink. <laughs> now we could only, I could only find so many. I found seven in this shade. So I had to pick up the next one over. And what I'm going to do is just throw them in at random with their mask and I was like, what? Can't beat this. And none of them have tried the wet uh, the cat suit. So I was like, that's awesome. While I was scamming the shelves, though, trying to find more of that very light peach shade, I found chromes. I found chromes, y'all, in the cat suit. I'm going to have to swatch these because I cannot wait to try them. Oops. How do you get into this thing? Ugh. 
can, you, can I get a little assistance from the peanut calorie? You know, you open that one. I think you gotta scrape it. Don't take off the, the tag on the top. Oh, there it goes, there it goes, there it goes. Yeah, because my thumb is, you know, pretty bad. But bring it up from the bottom like that. Let's see what this one looks like. Because it's like a... Oh, stickers are just Velcro to me. Here. I'll grab it from the bottom. I think I can squeeze my nail under... Scrape it upwards. But I'm like... I'm shook. I'm putting it on the front of my hand because... Oh, and it is totally a chrome. Look at that. You can see the burgundy in one light, and then it's like a gold, bronze, brown in a different light. What? Am I seeing that right with you guys? That is... Because when I put it, my palm down, it's like... You see, like, black bronze, right? Like a black, a black gold, but then it goes purplish. Okay. Let me move on before I just get lost. Let's see. This one is just a metal. I think that's what this one did say. This one's not a... Yeah, it says liquid cat suit. It's a metal. So that's the burgundy one. That's what that one looks like. And that's what this one looks like. Wow. Like, this one is definitely a multi-chrome, dual-chrome shift. Now, I didn't, I don't know if I had a, what did I do with it? I'm trying to think if I showed it already, if I just dove into it and just showed my friends. But they also have, at another Dollar Tree, let her in, at my, on my other side of town. Don't y'all love when I get digging in the Bermuda Triangle? They had, I could have sworn they had another one. They did. I'm just like, I'm not seeing it, but they had a, a gold glitter. And I'm trying to see, what did I do with the other one? Oh, it's sitting right here next to me. Like I said, Bermuda Triangle, y'all. This gold glitter, I haven't worn them yet. So I'm giving, I'm, I've only worn the matte because it is, it's, it's beyond me. But these ones, I found this gold one and this fuchsia. And this one, I swear, I am going to find the dupe. I have a dupe of this one. And this is the cat suit. And this is the other one that I'm talking about. You see that? I have a dupe for this one. Tons of different, I know from a different brand, but wow, right? Can't wait to try them on the eyes. You see what, this is the mat underneath the eye. So wow. So yeah, thank you guys so much for spending time with me. You know, I appreciate it. I really, really do. If you're new here, hey, I'm your girl, Javina. And I love makeup. And I love YouTube. So, hey, I'm here for it. If you're here for it, why don't you subscribe, you know, help your girl out. And I will see you all in the next one. I see you, sis. I know I'm big on the screen again. Barbara, thank you so much. And I love my scarf so much. I'm going to be rocking almost, like I said, I, I rock almost everything that my, my friends send me. But I love it so much. So thank you. You guys have a good one. Bye.